So a lot of you may know me as being a YouTuber, but that's actually my day job. What I really do is I'm a professional surgeon. And you know, surgery's gotten so easy for me, it's gotten so boring. I either have to be drunk or I have to speedrun my surgeries. Now most patients don't want me to be drunk, they don't really want me to speedrun them either, but I mean, I don't really care. So today we're playing Surgeon Simulator, and we're gonna do five different surgeries on our main man Bob, all of these five surgeries in a row, and see how fast we can speed run through them. So, you know, hopefully we won't murder Bob in the process, but we're gonna have to see about that. Now, a quick warning, this is a surgery simulator. There's gonna be blood, there's gonna be all kinds of guts and stuff like that. If you don't wanna see it, maybe click off this video, maybe just listen to it, don't watch it. But, you know, that's your little warning. So we're gonna start this as soon as we hit begin operation. So let's just get started with a heart surgery. And you know, I'm gonna show you the steps of doing these fast. So first of all, you know, we have to get this thing off of him. Sometimes it's a little harder than others because sometimes it feels like being difficult, but there we go. And now we just take our hammer. Some people like to use, you know, more delicate materials. I personally think a good old hammer, you can never go wrong because it's good for smashing. If it's good enough for like builders and stuff, why would it not be good enough for a surgeon, you know? Are you calling builders worse than surgeons? And sometimes that's hard because, you know, I don't understand how to use my own hands. Um, forgot to mention that. I don't really understand anatomy of my own hands, which is kind of ironic for a surgeon, but what you gonna do? We just wanna get his ribs broken up enough to where we can take out what needs to get taken out. You know, some people have a very strict definition of surgery. They think everything has to be perfect. Those people are lame. Why do I have to do everything perfectly right? That takes a lot of time and really ruins my speedrun. All the other surgeon speedrunners would just be laughing at me. If it looks okay, it probably won't kill him, most likely. But if it does too, it's probably not my fault because he signed an agreement. I did say that I would be speedrunning the surgery. Not sure why he agreed. I guess because I'm such a professional surgeon and speedrunner, he just thought I could do them at the same times. But you know, he might be wrong. It kind of looks like that with all these blood splurts that are coming and how the heart still isn't cut. Just gotta get a little bit more in there. It's almost out. Okay, there we go. Now, this is gonna waste a little bit of time, but the thing that does waste the most time is if your patient dies. So, you know, we do like making sure that our patients, they don't die. So what we can do is we can cut off his blood loss going all the way through the roof and we can try to take out this heart. So hearts are a tricky thing to get your hand in there. But once you do, you know, you can just kind of flick it away. And now we can get his new heart and hopefully not throw it on the floor. I have thrown a couple hearts on the floor before and it isn't the most pleasing thing. And you know, he's lucky there. He didn't get a floor heart. You know, you, you can't really ask for more than that. Now what we're on to is a double kidney transplant. And you know, I'm pretty terrible at these. I told Bob, you know, Bob, this isn't the one you want me to do, especially not for speed running. And he was like, no, you know, you did my heart transplant. I think you can do this as well. And you know, I trust you. You're a great doctor. And I was like, that's debatable. And he was like, you know, you got this, bud. So, you know, I'm doing this. Isn't my favorite surgery to do. So I'm kind of mad at him for making me do it. But what you're going to do at the end of the day, I'm still getting paid. So that's all that really matters. So we're going to do, we're going to cut that right away. Take out this little intestine, or big intestine. I'm not sure what kind of intestine this is. And then, you know, move our spoon. We're going to use that to eat our jello later. So I'm very excited for our jello. And hopefully, we can get this surgery done fast because I'm really hungry for some jello. I'm not going to lie. If I get hangry, my surgery starts doing a lot worse. So we, Bob has to hope that I can complete this pretty quickly because once I get hangry, once I really want that jello, I might not be thinking about the surgery and might more be thinking about, yeah, we're, we're just not going to talk about that actually. So now we can take out a stomach because his stomach just kind of gets in the way. People say, you know, food's important. If you don't have a stomach, why would you need food? You ever think about it that way? And we can kind of just grab this. What we have to do is kind of just firmly grasp it and just, you know, get it out of the way. We'll give it to him. He'll probably love that. It's a nice little souvenir for his surgery. And now we get to the hardest part of this, and that's these actual bull testicles or kidneys or whatever they look. So we kind of just got to cut both of them, you know, get them out. And this one on the right, it's not the worst, okay? You kind of just reach your hand in there. You're able to pick it up. This one on the left, though, this is the worst. This is the hardest thing in the world to pick up. And this is the reason why I told Bob I don't want to do this because I'm very bad, you know, at this specific part of just picking up this one little thing. But like, it doesn't want to get out. And we actually did that really fast. Wow, this is going to be like a record for me. But now we got the easy part, which is kind of just placing these back in. We want to be kind of specific about it because we want them to register as long as they're relatively in there he should be fine and we even got an a grade wow that i did not deserve that but okay we'll go with it now we got a brain surgery now brain surgeries are my favorite because i love hammering and we get to destroy someone's entire skull that is amazing i love doing that we get to just kind of oh that 
I don't think that was supposed to happen. I don't know how medically that did happen, but we kind of just get to chip away at this dude's skull. Bob, you don't need a skull. You don't have much of a brain anyway, at least not yet. You'll get one soon. And I mean, skulls probably regenerate, right? Maybe. Okay, so I'm gonna have a confession. I didn't actually go to medical school. I kind of forged my entire medical degree. So I don't really know what I'm doing, but I did watch YouTube videos. I watched the surgery on a grape video and I feel like that gives me enough info to be able to do surgery. And you know, I did become a legendary surgeon through that. So I mean, I guess it must be working at least somewhat. Okay, he's bleeding kind of fast. We gotta go and save his life. We're gonna quickly go and just stab him a couple times. You know, we're just gonna stab him in the eye, hope it works out. And now what we have to do is kind of just firmly grasp his brain. And take that out, nice and nasty if you ask me. This is a nasty looking brain too. Like Bob, gross. You should really take care of your brain better, dude. Now here's the hard part. Here's where we have to go and get one of our scalpels and try not to kill Bob. So you kind of just have to cut it and hope it cuts. There we go. Okay, that was beautiful. I took my time with that one too, so Bob should be happy about that. So now we can just kind of place his new brain in there. Oh, come on, Bob. Come on, it can get in there. Come on, there you go. Look, some people, they think you have to put the brain in a specific area, but you know, that's their problem. They're thinking, but not understanding the brain. Really, all you have to do is shove it in there and hope it works. Now, I'm not gonna lie. This is the grossest one. But first of all, what we have to do, I think an intern or one of the nurses or something, they decided it would be funny to put goggles on him for an eye surgery when they know I don't know how to use simple materials. So we have to cut off these goggles first. And yeah, the sad thing is, you know, kind of just messed up his face and hopefully he didn't need that. But this is kind of a creepy surgery, okay? He's kind of looking at us the entire time, which is kind of weird if you ask me. I don't know why he has to do that. But what we have to do first is we kind of just stick a th sharp thing in his eye and pull it out. All right, and we have to do that for the other eye as well, obviously. Bob's just going through a lot of surgeries today. I don't really know why he chose to do them all on the same day, but you know, good for him. I'm glad he decided what he needs. Getting these things out is very annoying, but we thankfully got that. And we're just gonna stab him in the eye. We're already stabbing him in the eye enough. I don't think it'll really matter if we do a little more. Now we kind of just hit him with our cotton swab box. Come on. All right, there we go. Beautiful. As you can see, his eyes are at a very happy distance away from his face. He's doing well. My boss has told me if I kill any more patients, he's going to be slightly upset at me. So we're trying not to murder today, especially not Bob. You know, we've been through so many surgeries with him. We care about him at this point, kind of. He's kind of bleeding a little bit from the eye and, you know, in the air. And, you know, that's completely natural. Don't worry about that. Bob's going to be just fine. You kind of just got to go through, swipe at these and hope that they cut off. You know, if we deform his face, if we get him scars, girls love scars, okay? No one's gonna be mad at him for having scars, I think. I hope. It's not really my problem if they do, though. Now, it's time to actually give him some brand new eyes. Fun fact, eyes will actually drop through your hand. So that's a nice, cool thing. If you ever have a bucket of eyes, they can just drop through your hand. And another fun fact is that if you ever want to put a new eye in someone, all you gotta do is you kind of just gotta, you kind of just gotta throw it in there and hope it works. Okay, that one didn't feel like working. All right, there's one. That's a beautiful, nice new eye. And you know, I think he'll look really cool if he has an eight ball for his second eye. I feel like that'll make the ladies love him even more. Maybe his wife will actually like not leave him. So, you know, you know, that's, that's just what he's gonna get. Beautiful. Look, eight balls work his eyes. Maybe he can't see, but at least he can look cool. And that's what vision is for, isn't it? Now, here's where Bob really made his mistake. So I told Bob, I said, Bob, I am not a dentist, okay? I'm going to mess up. It's going to happen. And Bob went, no, you've done so many surgeries for me. You're the only one I trust. So I need some new teeth. I've been eating a lot of candy lately. I want you to do my teeth surgery. And I went, are you sure, Bob? This is literally the worst idea you've ever come up with. And he went, please just do it. And I'm like, okay, you've already seen how deformed I made you, but I guess... You want more of that? Maybe maybe that's what your wife is into, okay? And you know, I'm not, I'm not going to judge your guys' kinks, so I'm just like, okay, I'll I'll do it, Bob. I'll do it. So, the good thing is Bob doesn't exactly expect us to be precise. So, you can see his broken teeth or his nice little nasty teeth. And you know, those are the ones we have to replace. Now, if along the way we knock out any other teeth, Bob told me he's okay with that. He doesn't care if he has some teeth or no teeth. It's all right. We just have to make sure we replace the ones that are rotten. That's all that really matters. I'm just going to break a few of his teeth just for good measure, just for good luck, so he looks even a little better. I think everyone loves a good little toothless gen, even though we got it right the first time, and, you know, we actually, like, 
did it. I just really don't want Bob to look good. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. He's been making me do too many surgeries. I'm kind of pissed off. If I get the chance to make him deformed at this point, do you think I'm not gonna take it? I've had to do five surgeries. This is my fifth surgery in one day. I'm not even a dentist. You can get mad at me if you want. You can say it's bad legal practice. You can try to sue me if you want, but at the same time, like, I don't really care at this point. Now, another thing is Bob just told us put any kind of teeth in his mouth. It doesn't really matter if they fit what they're supposed to be. Because, you know, teeth are teeth. They serve one function, and that's to chew. If they're kind of different teeth than what they're supposed to be, you know, they're still teeth. So, it, it's not going to look the greatest in the world. I'm going to warn you all right now. He's not going to be getting ladies, but he already has a wife. And there we go. You know, I'm sure he'll live. Oh, that's actually time. Wow, we did that faster than I thought we were. And we got an A. And Bob's looking good. Did you guys see him? He was looking beautiful. That was the speed run. We did that faster than I thought we would. 16 minutes and 40 seconds. So yeah, even with all my mistakes, you know, my mishaps kind of making Bob a little uglier than he needed to be with all his scars and now broken teeth. We were able to finish all of our surgeries, five surgeries within 16 minutes. I know surgeons at hospitals say, oh, it takes hours and stuff, but no. You know, 16 minutes, that's all you have to take out of your day. Obviously, guys, I'm joking, okay? Uh, I, I very much respect doctors and surgeons and all the things they go through. But regardless, thank you guys for watching. If you want to see any more of these kinds of speedruns, look, we can do like ambulance, we can do space speedruns. I don't have those unlocked. We can also do whatever this is, corridor, Wait, whatever. If you want to see some more surgeon simulator speedruns, we can go through all these. I am excited to try space. I've actually never done those before. And you know, I'd like to try the ambulance and stuff. So if you want to see that, make sure to leave that in the comments. And I will get to that if that is what you guys want. I said no phone calls. Anyway, if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like on the video. Also, only a small percentage of you guys are actually subscribed. So if you do enjoy the content, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. It's free. You can always unsubscribe. You know, it's nice and easy. But yeah, enough shilling. I'll see you guys later.